yo bricks 5d here and it's been a while since i did a note to pro update so let's get today going this is day 81 and this is one update you might want to watch all the way to the end all right on this day what has been new to pro has been up to the last time i did an update i think is on like four days ago four days of no update from the note to pro series why is that why is note to pro slacking behind in updates is because we agreed that since we didn't get much luck in terms of champions who've pulled on our account that is supposed to get us to that ultra nightmare goal that this entire series is all about to build a killable team for ultra nightmare we agreed that with these champions we had so far the only way to actually beat nightmare which is the journey we are currently trying to beat is to get these champions we have who can do it with better gear so i've been spending this entire four days in the dragon yes in the dragon and i'll be switching over to the spider soon but i wanted to spend all this time in the dragon and check out the gems right there yes we are finally down to the last um gem or energy recharge we can do from this amount of gems so progress i guess because all this farming i did in the dragon was not for nothing it did not go to waste it went towards awesome new gear on the account um, that we will soon be using on our new or on our old champions right now to replace the old ones and maybe see how that can change our current nightmare damage you are currently doing i think it's 12 million 10 million but if affinity changes we're screwed i'm still saying that for killable teams like this you're always bound by affinity your best one is usually void or the one that has the most uh, less champions against you in terms of negative affinity all right so that's what the new to probably up to dragon 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 farming but to just show you a little bit a glimpse of what the account looks like right now in terms of gear let me head over and show you the one i'm currently proud of the most the one i updated or um currently leveled up right now not the speed gear yes we do have a lot of speed gear and guess what all the speed gear do have speed substat on them <laughs> so that's a lot of speed gear that i'm currently keeping but we'll soon slim them down we're at full max 1300 but i've sold some right now there's one i just leveled up right now before doing this video and i was so proud of it i was like let me show it that's it right there i don't know if i need to move out of the way but it's showing speed 21 right there that's a nice one so i'm hoping this is not one my apothecary will need i'm hoping this will stay on a champion that actually needs speed on my team like a debuffer who needs to go first so i'm still kind of conflicted in the clan boss team if we do really still need lifesteal or we just go with the flow because we'd have a deliana de in uh, in the team i'm still with providing us with that leech so i'm I've still not completed on the final team that can do nightmare for us because you need to switch out some champions based on the affinity i do have spirit magic and force champions in that nightmare team so i've not shown you the nightmare damage yet i've not shown you the run all because we're expecting cvc that is coming up on tuesday after this weekend to have personal rewards which means i'm still saving all my epic books that i'm getting so far for this last champion that needs two books on this um this a3 i think it's the a3 i still needs two books not gambo so i'm still saving my epic books for um rear guard sergeant and this is the skill that still need two books for that ally protection so after rear guard sergeant gets all the books then i might switch over to the next champion that needs books no not amiga steel score steel score has not gotten any books so far why do i need to book this because of that increased defense right there that i need to be placed on our champions more consistently and also this cleanse that can maybe be tuned to cleanse the stone always on one particular champions that gets it if we can make that happen with deadwood jedi's calculator i'll see when i get to that bridge but for now we are waiting for epic books yes the new to pro does need epic books so i kind of regret wasting all my books on this dude fine he's helping me right now in content in um, arena but i'm saying this is not the priority of the new to pro series and i spent most of my books here i see a lot of books going to the a1 right now so i've stopped booking gambo is not a high priority because we are fighting fighting one man defenses still in the arena and we are getting those arena gold medals whenever we want it to unlock those missions whenever we want it so the last speaking of those missions the last one or the next one that is going to come up will require us to get great hall level 10 and check out i've already closer to 400 already we have not even close to that mission but i've been farming the arena enough to have close to 400 gold medals so by the time we get to that mission that says get a great hall medals to level 10 i'll be able to do it easily because by then i'll be sitting at 1000 
um, medals. So that's how I wanted to give you an update in that front also. Um, we made no progress in terms of um, Doom Tower because, like I said, I've been farming the um, all the while. I've been farming what do you call it now? The dragon, and I made no progress with this boss at all. It's a boss that I did try it. I failed. Tried. I failed. I felt like I was wasting my time. So whenever the key is reset, I just go in here, do my five um, battles, get the advanced quest done, and I leave the Doom Tower. So again, Doom Tower is not yet a priority for the Noob to Pro. I have not built any champion specifically to be able to take this boss down in terms of Tommy. I do have Amiga and I could probably put some teams that can do it, but I keep failing and I don't want to get stuck here. So why am I showing this? Is because Doom Tower will reset soon. So if this is a content, especially if you're on hard that you have not yet pushed all the way to the maximum, do so and fight these secret rooms because it will depend how fast you get Archmage Helmet. I have not done it yet because only three champions can do it and I find it a little bit difficult also. These secret rooms, I'll do. I'll try it though before the reset happens. I'll try to at least get these ones done so I can maybe get Achmed Helmet in three months time or four months time. Which he, maybe by then he will still be useful for the account. But the thing is, by the time most people get that champion, they probably got somebody that is even better than him in terms of that role. Except you have a seer and he needs to go well with her. Alright, that's the update I wanted to give in that front. I've shown you the new gear that we've gotten. I didn't show all of them though, but just know that the Noob to Pro has spent all our gems, all our energy, everything on the Dragon. Dragon 20. And why did it take me this long to fight this Dragon and finish these gems? It's because the Dragon run is still 6 minutes, it's still 5 minutes, it's sometimes 7 minutes. Because we do have our old teams with our old gear in there. By the time I put this new gear on these Clambos champions and they go into the Dragon, I'm sure or I hope they can do it at a better time. Maybe 2 minutes, maybe 3 minutes Dragon run by then. Because right now our kill, everybody is still doing very, very slow runs right there in the Dragon. So I wanted to scroll so you get a view of the rest of the gear, what we are looking like. Yes, I've sold the bad ones. What you're looking at right now is the good ones. And I don't think I've rolled up all of them though. Artifact enhancement is currently going on, so I'll do just that. Why am I keeping so much sleep? <laughs> well, I've not rolled some of them and need to be sold. I'm just keeping them because of faction world champions who might need those six star ones. I'm not keeping five star ones, I'll sell them. So I have a lot of six star gear right now, and hopefully, it will replace all this five star gear that I built and I'm rocking in that early game because I'm kind of, kind of guessing closer now to mid game. I guess you could say we are currently in mid game. So, zero gems. Is what we're hoping for we are getting broke right now and it's a good thing because it's all translating to um gear so again this shows you a realistic way of playing raid shadow legends you can't just come into this game one month two months three months and expect to beat all content right now we are stuck at level 18 or 15 in fire knight in ice golem in um maybe other dungeons but dragon is 20. in order to progress further in those dungeons we need to do this you need to spend a month or two or three months in the dragon depending on how lucky you are or how unlucky you are in the gear you get so now that my gear is looking all fleshed out full of gear my champions can now begin to select and pick the best of the best to replace this beginner one we had when we had no choice but to use them on this champion that's why we had this on Deliana because this was the only set who crafted that time from the uh, forge, right? But now I think Deliana can go in even in immortal sets, even in this um, what do you call this one now? Stalwart set. She has more options. She has more choices to select from. And check out <laughs> how good we are at because we're fighting brutal and nightmare. So I've been putting one king to nightmare, and now we are getting more good gear from here. And check out immortal that Deliana can now rock. So it's looking good. That's what I'm saying. It's looking better than we had before. So this is progress. I've not tried to rebuild any of this champion, but this week that we're going into the Noob to Pro will be changing build on this champion and showing you how better they are. So I didn't want to do it in this video because Artifact Enhancement is still going on. I might do it before Artifact Enhancement ends tomorrow. So maybe then. But we, we have not been locking in terms of amount of um, perception we've gotten so far. I don't see much luck in getting good perception sets this is the few ones we've gotten and they are not that good in terms of the substats so it's not all about perception their substat has to be good also i think we have better accuracy sets right now in raid than we have perception sets 
most players get very good luck with possession and they don't need accuracy at all i think most of their cha- my champions will still rely on accuracy set check out we have been spoiled with accuracy all right i finished flexing what the new to pro has been up to in terms of these four days that's what truthfully that's what i've been up to and i didn't feel like i had enough updates to give that's why i didn't post an update and i hope you guys have been enjoying the um at this champion spotlight i'm doing in place of that because every day i pick out a champion and do a spotlight on them and tomorrow i have one new champion spotlight that was commented and and i will not i'll surprise you with that one i'll not reveal it right now all right what else do i have for the noob to pro series to let you know that cvc will come up on tuesday and it will have personal rewards that's one that was revealed revealed in the um Plarium Digest that was released this evening. So in case you don't know about that, I've already talked about the Part of Life event that was going on in my previous video this uh, morning. And um, what else again besides that? Yes, I have one more thing. As part of the Raid Digest that was re- re- uh, or released, it reminded everybody who is playing Raid that your account should be secure. I'm not just talking about creating an email and creating a password and having a Raid account you need to turn on two-factor authenticator and while i was reading that raid digest and watching other videos talking about it from scratch i remember that on this note to pro i had not turned on two-factor authenticator so i wanted to take this time to also remind you that if you don't have this turned on on your account the probability that your account will be hacked and you'll not be able to recover it is high is very high it's extremely high so right now i just wanted to let you know that if you go to your account on Raid Playroom, protect your account. That's the button that you click to get that happen. I don't play on mobile, so I don't know how it's going to be working on mobile. But I guess if you log in, you'll be able to see it also. Or it requires PC to turn on two-factor. But I'm doing it on PC and it say enable two-factor right there. An email will be sent. I have to enter my password if I can remember it. All right, an email will be sent. That's the one I prefer to use. Email address right there. But if you don't want to go be that complicated to have an extra um, app to give you that code, you might want to just use email because it's just a game, right? It's just a game. So email authenticator is what I, or 2FA is what I prefer to use for at least this game. So it will send you a code to your email address and then you can enter that code. Let me just grab the code. That's the code and enter the code right here confirm it's always recommended to have these backup codes offline so it's not easily accessible by somebody who has access to your email or your online account so these backup codes are best written down on a piece of paper and saved with your documents or somewhere offline not an online storage take note of that so i know this by having 2fa turned on for the other devices so whenever an account or you log in from a different device now you will need to receive an email or enter one of these your backup codes which can help you recover your account so that's it noob to pro is 100 percent secure now from hacks at least i think so and um yeah that's how you can go about doing it if you've not already done so all right now for the end of the video where i have a little bit of information to share with you as always Whenever we come to the end of the month, close to the 25th, we have a giveaway. Yes. 540 gems and one ancient shards goes to five winners. If you only head over to the comment section right now in this video, only in this video, and comment hashtag noob to pro along with any other comments you want to add right there. So how do you comment that? Make sure you head over to your profile go to info and copy your um code copy your um code paste it in the comment section add a space hashtag noob to pro that's all that is needed for you to be entered into this giveaway and by monday the winners will get their notifications of their 540 gems and um one ancient shard as um coming directly from playroom not from me we're just giving you this opportunity to enter for this giveaway and thanks to Playroom for allowing content creators to do something like this for our community members so thank you for watching the noob to pro series that's the best i can do as always i don't announce this giveaway in the title of the video or in the thumbnail and i put it at the end so if you watch all the way to the end <laughs> good luck and you will know what to do in the comment section 
All right. On Sunday evening, I'll be selecting the five winners and I'll put that in a note to pro update on Sunday so you see if you won or not. So watch out for that one also. Hit that like button in this video if this video helps you. That's the general what the Nutu Web Pro has been up to. Not a lot, I know. But hey, by the time we start changing the gear around and updating our champions, we'll begin to progress further and get to that nightmare goal and begin to get better shots. Good luck to all of you pulling shots. Good luck to a lot of you going hard for that um, Heroes Part event that is currently going on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.